Let me ask you just one question. Do you want to take your game to that next level? If the answer is yes, then you are not alone. You see, every player from beginner to pro strives to up their game every time they get back to the table. Come with me as I show you proven techniques that have helped me in my quest to become a better player. I am not a beginner, nor am I a professional. I am an average guy on a mission. That mission is to take my game to new heights. Along the way, I hope to inspire and help you in yours. I am Ron, the pool student. Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Hey, today's video I want to talk about something that's going on internally <laughs> with me. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I started this quest just a little over 500 days ago to get good at this game. And I've run into a few obstacles, mainly um, I would say that they are muscle memory issues. Um, just to kind of give you guys uh, that are new to my channel just a recap of my uh, pool history. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, about 16 years old is when I first shot on my uh, uh, first table, and that was my folks. They bought one, put it in the basement, a Brunswick 8-foot uh, honeycomb top. Not a uh, slate top table, but it played really well. As I think back, I thought, you know, that thing probably played as good as a... Uh, is a uh, slate top table. But that's what I did. I shot them. My uncle was a pretty good player, just a shot maker guy though, and taught me how to make shots. And from there I went on into the military and I shot a little bit there. But that was the extent of my play. I really never knew how to manipulate the cue ball or game position, that type of thing. So I really wasn't a good player at all. Uh, probably just a little bit around average, maybe in the shot making uh, you know, portion of it. But like I say, the position play was not good. But now, fast forward to February 22nd of 2021. That's when I got this table and I said, you know what? I'm retired now. I'm gonna, it was just at the beginning of COVID. I'm gonna put in a lot of hours and I have. I put in about 3,500 hours. Okay, think about that. You can do the math. Just over 500 and some days, 530, 540, something like that. I play a lot, you guys, and uh, I love the game. I have a passion for it, but I have run into an obstacle, uh, and that is this veering of my cue, and I want to talk to you about that today, and I'm hoping that I can get some good, solid feedback because I'm going to show you a couple shots here and uh, get the camera oriented so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, so tough. You know, I, I've tried to make some video to show you guys how I've worked through this. And the other night I made a video and I, I couldn't even show you the, the footage. It was that pathetic, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I watched it over, you know, as I started to edit it, I said, this is no good. This is hitting the, the cutting room floor, that's for sure. But maybe I should show it to you and I'm going to. Although I got rid of that and deleted it, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot again. And I'm gonna show you what's going on here with my arm swing. It's killing my game. I think that this is probably going to hold me back. You know, right now I'm around a 525 player uh, in the Fargo rating, and that's pretty decent to some of you maybe watching, but I gotta tell you, I think that that's a, uh, that's a hurdle. Uh, this this uh, veering in my cue, that's a hurdle that's gonna stop me from getting any better. And uh, my goal was to get to 600. I don't think I'll ever get to 600 unless I fix this. Um, so I thought I would just, you know, talk to you guys about that. You know, I know that some of you out there too relate, can relate to this because you probably have other issues with you, within your stroke. And that's really where it's at, it's within our strokes that hold you back as well. Um, and hopefully my channel can uh, show you things that I struggle with that maybe you struggle with and can give you the inspiration and maybe even the knowledge to get by that issue. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to show you some of my, my struggles here with this. Um, recently, just in fact, just this morning, I had a comment um, by one of my subscribers, Michael, and he asked me how I was coming along with it. And I was so bummed out about it because I just, everything I tried just wasn't working. And I told him, I said, maybe this is something I'm not going to be able to get around. And he, he answered me back and he says, man, that's, a, that's the first time I've heard you say something like that 
uh, about your game. And he, he kind of gave me a little pep talk. And, and you know, he's right. Um, and I do have to work through this, but man, it's so tough. I, I just hope that I can get someone that can see, see what I'm doing here, can just shed some light on what I might be missing. And maybe a light bulb will go on with one of these comments from you guys that will help me get around this so that others can see this as well and like I say, get by their issues too. So now let's look at some shots and let's talk about them. Okay, this is my uh, first shot of the day. It's, um, it's noon right now and I got up a little late. I got up about nine o'clock and had my coffee and all and I haven't shot yet. So I'm gonna keep it real here so you guys can see. I hope I can shoot this shot in right away and not miss it, but uh, that's what happens with me. I mean, a 500 player, you know, you still have to work yourself up and get yourself warmed up. But I'm gonna go ahead and shoot right out of the gate here and I'll let you guys watch my warm up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to shoot this straight in and I'm gonna hit it easily. I'm not gonna, you know, over crank it like a draw shot because I feel like I'm almost a little too violent with my draw shot and that's when my arm starts to veer or my cue veers because of my arm. So I'm just gonna shoot a stop shot right here and we'll, we'll position this camera a couple different ways so we can look at this closer. And what I have here, just to let you know, is I have a paper reinforcement. I talked about this before and uh, I can see where my cue is after I've struck my cue ball and, and it's away. And I'm looking at that to see if my cue is over that paper reinforcement. Obviously, if it's, it's, it's going to go off line, it's gonna to go to my left. That's what's happening with me. And what's happening with that, and I'll show you here after I shoot a few more shots, and you're gonna see my arm go crazy. And I'm also looking at the cue ball to see if it's spinning, which it usually spins uh, clockwise, which means I hit it on the left side, and that's because my cue is veering to the left, and it's slicing across the uh, cue ball, putting that spin on it. And so that's another problem within this issue. Grab another ball here. We'll do one more stop shot. Do one more stop shot, and then I'm gonna swing for the fences on another shot and see what that looks like. So see the nice easy stroke, I have no problem with that. I mean, I'm pretty lined up there. Cue ball did pretty good that time. If I set the object ball there and then I look at it, I can see it's pretty good. It's a little bit off to the left. That means I cut the ball to the right just slightly, but we're talking just very slightly. Um, that's a pretty good shot right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it. That's only three shots today now I've made. So this is probably gonna really look bad, okay? And I don't care. I gotta figure this out. And I'm hoping, man, you guys can figure it out for me. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this with some good draw. I'm gonna try to draw back into this pocket. I gotta make sure it's really lined up here. And I gotta not miss cue. That's another issue I've been having. Notice I keep chalking here because I'm so paranoid about that. And I think that's because I'm diving my cue but also that I'm moving to the side and it's not hitting the uh, cue ball in the middle and I'm gla it's a glancing blow. And that's what causes that, that issue as well of miscuing. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep my arms straight, but watch what my arm does here. I know it, I, 
I, I can't tell you what it did, but I can tell you what I saw on the video, and that was it throws out like this, and that throws my cue. I missed the shot completely. I'm not surprised because I've been missing these, and it's when I when I get to a certain a certain level of stroke. When I try to do too much, it's when my that's when my stroke breaks down. So let's try it again. Yeah, I'm really lined up. And see that? I think that probably missed in the same spot, the way the, the four ball came back. I cut it to that direction. I know it's all in this arm. Okay, let's pause for just a minute, and let me talk to you about what it is that I do to overcome that issue during match play. I know my limitation. I know that if I stroke at a certain power level, that's when my stroke breaks down, especially once again on draw shots. So because of that, I'm limiting my game. I am either rolling straight forward, trying to go a couple rails to get around for position because I can't draw it with uh, with confidence, or I'm just figuring out another way to get on the next shot. And that's limiting my ability to be a better player. So I wanted to cover that so you guys can understand where I'm at. So now let's get back to this. So let's try it one more time. Really think about it now. I'm gonna to try to really keep the arm in, in closer to my body, come up towards my pec muscle more. A little bit offline step back into the shot. I'm thinking now of coming right up towards my pec muscle. Sometimes I've even hit my pec muscle and it kind of hurts a little bit because I jam myself too much. Um, but that, for that reason, I've, I've then kept my hand out. Now I'm going to try something different right now too that I did think about the other night that you guys might be thinking of right now. And that is I'm going to move my body off the, the shot line a little more and give a little more room for my lever. But even that didn't work. And that's why it's frustrating. So, I stepped a little bit further away now. It feels weird to me. It feels like my hand is way away from my body. And I can't have that. It feels like I'm leaning. And then I make a good shot. But you know what? I want to see the video on that one because I'll bet my arm still swung out, but the timing was perfect. And that's, that's, it can't be that because if you're relying on timing all the time, it's not going to always be consistent, okay? So anyway, I've shown you a few shots, stop shots, easy speed. I want to look at the video now I want you guys to look at the video now. Let me know what you think I need to do to correct this, because I want to make 600, man. I want to be a, a better player at this game. I know we all do, and I'm hoping I can get better so I can help more with more of my viewers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, like I say, always say, keep on practicing.